It has now been four days since a 16 year old Valdosta High School student was killed by a hit and run driver. There are still no arrests. Now that crash happened on a busy stretch of inner perimeter road Saturday. Valdosta police are saying only now that it's an active investigation. WLB News 10's Brittany Blake reports that many in the community though are voicing support for this family. Valdosta police have not released any new information in their investigation at this time. On Monday, they did report that they found the vehicle that they believe struck and killed 16 year old Samuel Johnson Jr. I was able to make contact with his sister and she says our family is requesting prayers and we want justice. This was the stretch of inner perimeter road where 16 year old Samuel Johnson Jr. was struck and killed Saturday evening while helping an injured dog. Police say the driver didn't stop to help Samuel and drove away, but investigators say they found the car that hit Samuel on Monday. They didn't say where the vehicle was found, nor if it provided any information on the driver. As the investigation continues, many in the community are showing their support for the family to get justice. There are nearly 200 comments below the VPD Facebook post from Monday. These are just a few. One woman posted, there is a special place for someone that would do that to another person, especially such a wonderful young man that had such a bright future ahead of him. He was a friend of my son. My heart breaks for his family. I pray that they find the person that did this and bring them to justice. Another said, what a precious soul this young man had to be to stop to help a hurt animal and ends up losing his own life. This just hurts my heart. RIP and my condolences to his family and friends. Another, I'm sorry this young man with such a good heart lost his life doing a selfless deed. My heart goes out to his family and friends. We need more people like him in this world. And this one, I pray whoever hit and killed this young man comes forth soon. How can you lay your head down at night knowing that you did this? You cannot hide forever and you make your charges a lot worse. Prayers to his family. According to research I found, only about 10% of all hit and run cases are solved due to lack of evidence. But in this case, police have very big evidence with the car. Hopefully that will lead them to the driver. We'll update you once we have more information from police. Brittany Blake, WAOB, your hometown news source.